All right, me babbers, it is that time of the month again where we go through what I watched during the previous month. So we're on 1st of April is recording this. Uh, and we're going to go through what I watched in March. So I'll cover all the physical media I went through. Um, I did also watch some stuff on uh, streaming as well. So I'll let you know what titles I watched there. Uh, because this stack doesn't look very big. I was like, is that all I watched? And then I realised. I've streamed some shit. So we'll go through that too. Uh, and I'll let you know what I thought. Give you a quick rundown of each one. Uh, and you can let me know in the comments what you think. So make sure you leave a comment, guys. Always leave a comment. Appreciate it. Hit that like button if you haven't already. All right. And do subscribe to the channel so that you can see more Bristolian Dave goodness. And... Yeah, it's about it, really. Bristolian Dave is all you need in your life. Uh, so, here we go. Shall we start? Let's start. All right. So, we'll start with uh, what I watched on physical. Uh, so, uh, should I try and go in order? I'll try. See if I can remember. Uh, so, first thing I watched here uh, on 4K Ultra HD was Scream. So, this is Scream 5 technically i think um yeah i really enjoy the other movies scream 4 is probably the weakest out of the four before this um but this i'd say was actually probably a little bit of a return to form i really enjoyed this film um i wasn't sure if i would it's got uh some of the original cast returning in it um obviously david arquette courtney cox uh neve campbell um, all came back into this but it's also setting up for new younger talent to carry on the franchise one of those namely being uh, Jenny Ortega uh, obviously no from Wednesday and she's actually really good in this as well so obviously I, I'm sure most people know the premise of Scream it's a serial killer uh, who is a massive fan of slasher movies um and then uses all those tropes to go and kill people. Really, really good. I highly recommend. If you if you fell out of love with Scream 4, definitely jump back on it with this Scream. Um, I still need to see Scream 6. Uh, I'll probably wait until it's out on 4K. Uh, but highly recommend. And then this one I watched. Uh, now, I love my... Uh, I was going to say monster movies. Animal movies? Now, see, that makes me sound like a furry or something. Uh, I watched Beast with Idris Elba. I really enjoyed this, actually. Um, so it's about a crazy manny and lion. Um, spoilers. Uh, that basically this lion's... I was going to say herd. Herd is definitely not the right word. The pride of this lion was all shot and killed by poachers and this lion just goes absolutely fucking berserk because it just killed all its family uh and then innocent people get caught up in this namely idris Elba and his family and shit goes down it's really really good actually um and the ending was quite interesting i did see it coming by the end uh, but i would highly recommend this i like things with like animals like i like uh big crocodile alligator movies you know things like cruel rogue uh blackwater like shark movies as well um it's basically anything with killer animals in it i really enjoy uh so if you know any recommend me some down below um and i'll check them out and then we watch this film so i couldn't decide what to watch so i picked one randomly off the shelf and it was this and i was pleasantly surprised so i watched eddie the eagle uh, so this is a, like a biopic kind of, obviously, like all biopics, it's a little bit uh, enhanced, shall we say. Um, so Eddie Edwards uh, basically follows the guy on his journey to become an Olympic athlete. Um, tries other sports like skiing and that uh, isn't so good. 
and then he finds high jump and he decides he's going to do it. Almost kills himself multiple times. Um, and then Hugh Jackman uh, in this who plays, I forgot his name, Bronson Perry, uh, decides to train him. And it goes from there. Actually really enjoyable film. Taron Egerton, who plays Eddie, really good. We know that from his um, other movies, obviously King's money has been in, but in terms of biopics, he was in the Elton John one. Uh, shit, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, but he was good in that as well. Uh, so if you haven't seen this, I do recommend it. It's a good film. Good little feel-good movie. Check it out. Then I watched Never 4K. I watched Don't Breathe 2. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the first one. The first one was much more of a, uh, like closer to a horror movie, um, from people breaking into, uh, Stephen Lang's house and him just going mental and fucking killing them all, even though he's blind. Um, and second one is different in the fact that he's got a daughter who's not technically his daughter, or he's kind of his daughter. Um, who gets kidnapped and then he's like on a revenge thing to get her back. Different. It was different. It's not as good as the first one, in my opinion. It's very gory. So I don't mind that. And uh, the fights in that are decent, you know. So I'd, I'd give it a watch. I would give it a watch. Um, not as good as the first one. Though. And then I watched Take This Waltz. So it's got Seth Rogen. Uh, Michelle Williams, Luke Kirby, and Sarah Silverman. Uh, this was different. So, this is a movie says a married couple, Seth Rogen, is married to Michelle Williams. Uh, So-called happily married, but then she meets this man on a flight, and she starts to question everything, and then she has an affair, decides to leave, um, but it's done in a way where she's Finding herself and everything. It was alright. I'm this was one of the ones I bought way, way back when Blockbuster was closing, so that's gotta be a good ten ten years ago now? Has it been that long? Ten years? Well it came out twenty eleven, so it might be actually. Um for like fifty P. Uh so Yeah. It's alright. Everyone like all, all these places seem to praise out. It was alright. It was it was decent. I mean, I get what three out of five probably. Yeah. Uh, and then I watched this series. Now this series uh, has become one of my favourite comedy series. Um, I'm currently on season seven, which is on a different box set, so I can show you this. Um, but I will be looking at by eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Uh, and that is the show Modern Family. So. This show is fantastic. Um, so as it says, it's about modern families. So this is all one big family. All right. You've got uh, the main family. Well, I say main. They're all kind of main, to be honest. So you've got the dad and his Colombian wife. Um, obviously, dad is much older. Uh, and she comes with a kid. And then you've got his son, who's married. Uh, to a bloke, so they explore as a gay marriage as well, and they adopt a kid, and then you got your stereotypical man and wife with three kids, two daughters, one one son, um, and it's basically just just a series on on stuff that goes on in their lives, um, the stupid shit they get into, and how their relationships develop over time. Really, really good. Seriously good. Um, I laughed out loud a lot during this show um so this was all 144 episodes i watched i watched them when i was working at home i watched for my lunch break uh so that was cool i definitely recommend uh so what else did i watch so i did do some streaming yeah i know boo me uh what i watch i watched wednesday all right, so Wednesday was actually really, really good. Again, Jenny Ortega, I think watching the screen made me think, ah, I'll give her a watch on Wednesday, seeing as she was good in that. Um, Wednesday was actually really good. I was surprised. Being a fan of the original Adams Family, um, I was like, I'm, I, I can't hold a torch to that, surely. But it did, it did actually. Uh, so it's the story of Wednesday being put in a 
boarding school uh, for magical people, I guess you would say. Um, and then everything unfolds. She finds out about her family's past and shit goes down. There's a monster and yeah, it's actually really, really interesting. Really good. I like the way they did it. She portrayed Wednesday fantastically well. Give it a go. Give it a go on Netflix. I also watched uh, The Fall as well. Uh, so this was also on Netflix, I believe. And it's a movie, basically, these are adrenaline junkies. They like climbing high shit and uh, getting a buzz from it. And spoilers, they, they first of all climb, uh, well, the movie starts with them climbing up a big ass mountain. Um, and then the main character's boyfriend dies, falls off and dies. So she's obviously traumatized from that. Doesn't want to do anything anymore. Um, but then her friend, like a year afterwards, gets her to come with her and climb up this massive tower. Uh, this abandoned tower thing. So they do that. They climb all the way to the top and they get stuck. And yeah, shit goes down from there. I really enjoyed this. I like these kinds of movies. Um... There is a big twist in it, which uh, is similar to a twist that is in the movie Adrift, if you've ever seen Adrift. Um, but it's really well done, actually. I really enjoyed it. And I would recommend uh, giving this one a go. So if you don't have it on physical, hit it up on the streaming services. I don't usually recommend those, but it's a good movie. It's a good movie. And that is everything I watched, guys. Uh, so as you can see, this month was a little bit lighter, uh, mainly due to just busyness, um, how busy I've been. Um, and the fact that I worked my way through 144 episodes of Modern Family. Uh, so, this next month, I don't know, it starts off with WrestleMania and all the wrestling. And then it goes to, we got Easter. Have I got any Easter movies? That's a good question. I should have a look. There we go. There's one to leave in the comments. Easter movies. What do you like to watch during Easter month, April? Let me know down in the comments. And guys, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Please do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Helps the YouTube algorithm gods to decide to push my content further and lets people see it. So I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, like I said, let me know. Let me know what you've been watching down in the comments too. Um, but I will leave you there because it's turning into a nice sunny day and I have stuff to do. So without further ado... I will say cheers, my babbers, and I will see you next time.